Britain. Now that's changed too much colder conditions down to a Scandinavian high. Now once that's established itself, we're going to get a run of easterly winds. And of course that means some very cold air moving across northern Europe. Let me show you the temperature map. You can see how uh, in a moment how the blue area expands. Now this is air that's below freezing and these are daytime temperature maps. And as we go into the early part of next week, well, you can see the blue arriving across the British Isles. But for the weekend, the chilly weather down to this area of high pressure, giving us fairly settled conditions. We have got a weather front moving down from the north, and that's going to introduce quite a bit of moisture into the high. In fact, it's uh, already giving a rather clumpy cloud across northwestern parts of Scotland, and rather wet conditions there as well, as you can see from the weather radar, some bright colours, and no doubt there's some sleet and snow falling up over the northwest highlands. Now that uh, wet weather will edge its way a little bit further southwards across Scotland into Northern Ireland through the rest of uh, this evening. Then as the weather front heads southwards, it'll weaken overnight, so cloud breaking up in Scotland, so uh, temperatures there dipping away, could be a little bit of ice on untreated surfaces. And to the south of our weather system, clear skies across much of England and Wales will lead to a widespread frost in land. By morning, well, we'll find our weather system sitting across central areas. It'll be weakening quite rapidly by then. It may well take quite a time for things to improve in the Manchester area, perhaps the odd spot of rain crossing East Anglia for a time. But by the afternoon, a good deal of uh, dry and bright weather around. Quite a bit of uh, winter sunshine, although it could turn rather milky in the afternoon. And by that time, thicker cloud will be coming on to the western side of Ireland with some heavier outbreaks of rain coming in as the winds freshen up. But temperatures tomorrow are around about what you'd expect for this time of year. Saturday night we see a frost again in the south and uh, then on Sunday the weather system likely to bring some cloud and rain to the western side of Scotland but for the rest of us I think it's essentially a repeat performance